Welcome to Tech Blueprint, a window that lets you know the latest technology news in the world. Without lithography machines, Chinese chips can't survive. The question that has been repeatedly questioned will be answered in 2025. With an annual order of 39 billion yuan, Hua Chuang ranks sixth in the world, China Microelectronics 3 nanometers etching machine was mass-produced, and Harbin Institute of Technology broke through EUV light source technology. Chinese chip equipment is using a combination punch to break the 30-year international monopoly, and the counterattack is far more than the word replacement. In 2024, Hua Chuang's semiconductor equipment orders increased by about 44% year-on-year to 39 billion yuan, ranking sixth in the world for the first time. Behind the numbers are the mature process coverage capabilities of core products, such as etching machines and thin film deposition equipment, and the self-sufficiency rate of 28 nanometers and above processes exceeds 50%. Its 12-inch silicon epitaxial equipment is mass-produced, and the defect rate is controlled below 0.1 cm2, which supports the mass production of Yangtze Memory's 270-layer 3D NAND flash memory. Hua Chuang's product line covers seven major types of equipment such as etching, deposition, and cleaning forming a general practitioner solution. The model directly targets international giants, such as Applied Materials and Tokyo Electron. In 2024, its R&D investment accounted for 28%, with a total of 7,568 patents. The mass production of Amex 3 nanometers etching machine has exceeded 90% of the key components, and the order has increased by nearly 45% year-on-year, verifying the effectiveness of the single-point breakthrough plus ecological synergy path. Harbin Institute of Technology's 13.5 nanometers Extreme Ultraviolet Light Source Technology Breakthrough has ignited hope for domestic EUV lithography machines. Although optical lenses and dual work tables still rely on imports, the progress means that China has touched the threshold of processes below 7 nanometers for the first time. Combined with the data that the localization rate of mature process equipment of SMIC's debutification production line exceeds 70%, China is leaping from equipment replacement to technical reconstruction. In the field of logic chips, North Huachuang's Capacitive Plasma Etching CCP, equipment has an accuracy of plus or minus 1.5 nanometers and an etching rate of 500 nanometers per minute, narrowing the gap with similar products of applied materials to less than 10%. In the memory chip battlefield, its inductive plasma etching ICP, Equipment supports 3D NAND stacking with more than 270 layers, directly targeting Samsung and Kioxia technology. In the field of power semiconductors, the mass production of silicon carbide etching equipment has helped BYD increase its self-sufficiency rate of automotive chips to 40%. The mass production of 12-inch atmospheric pressure silicon epitaxial equipment marks a key step for China in the field of wafer basic materials. The ALD, atomic layer deposition, technology has an accuracy of 0.1 nanometers, paving the way for 5 nanometers chip manufacturing. The self-sufficiency rate of ACM Shanghai's cleaning equipment has exceeded 50%, and the defect rate in the 14 nanometers process verification is 15% lower than the international standard. The technology that seems to be a supporting role is actually the life and death line of chip yield. Faced with the US etching equipment ban, 
Yangtze Memory uses hybrid bonding technology to bypass the traditional stacking process and use the glue strategy to achieve mass production of 270-layer 3D NAND. The innovation of technical paths has increased the global market share of Chinese memory chips from 5% in 2021 to 12% in 2024. The third phase of the National Big Fund focuses on the equipment field. In 2024, domestic equipment procurement expenditures will reach 40 billion US dollars, accounting for 32% of the global market. Tax incentives will increase the additional deduction ratio of R&D expenses to 150%, and companies such as North Huachuang will use this to increase their gross profit margin to 45%. The US sanctions unexpectedly accelerated the technology closure. The localization rate of SMIC's 28 nanometers production line equipment exceeds 70% driving North Huachuang's order growth by 25%. Huawei's Hongmeng ecosystem connects 1 billion devices, forcing chip system collaborative innovation. The foundry cost of high silicon Kirin chips is 30% lower than that of TSMC's similar products. SMIC co-CEO Zhao Haijun, Tsinghua class of 1983, and Huahong Group Chairman Zhong Sushin, Tsinghua Class of 1981, and other leading figures have promoted the expansion of 28 nanometers production capacity and the localization of power devices. However, the annual shortage of 300,000 engineers is still the biggest shortcoming. College courses lag behind the industry by three years, and the training cycle of equipment process engineers is as long as five years. Although Harbin Institute of Technology has made a breakthrough in EUV light source, domestic DUV lithography machines are still limited to 28 nanometers process. ASML will launch high end AEUV in 2025, and the process gap may widen from two generations to three generations. The Global Lithography Machine Maintenance Service is monopolized by ASML, and the maintenance cost of existing Chinese equipment is as high as 40% of the purchase price. Amex sued the U.S. Department of Defense's military enterprise, list in an attempt to break the stigmatization of technology. However, TSMC suspended supply to non-whitelist Chinese customers, causing AI chip companies such as Cambrian to transfer orders to Huahong, and the capacity utilization rate dropped by 20%. Golden Window of Mature Process Trendforce predicts that China will account for 40% of the global mature process capacity increase in 2025. However, the price war has quietly started, and SMIC's 28 nanometers chip quotation is 40% lower than TSMC, resulting in a drop in gross profit margin from 35% to 28%. Whether the price for volume strategy can continue will determine the profit margin of China's domestic equipment. There is only one question left for the world. When Western logic meets Chinese speed, can the Chinese spirit overwhelm the United States?